Good morning. Good morning. It is like class 8 to 11. Oh, I didn't even know that you did. And I came back and changed straight into my PJs. <laughs> really? Yeah. Guys, our new couch I came yesterday. I haven't been vlogging much, but it's so nice. Yeah, Lucy's on the phone with Sarah right now. And I have a pimple on my face. I dropped my phone on my face. <laughs> but um, today, we pack for Vegas, because I leave in the morning. <laughs> So I fixed my bed up real quick. I don't even really make it. I just kind of like throw it all together so it looks okay. But um, the rest of my room <laughs> really needs some help. So this is going to be my project right now, organizing my closet. I've been wanting to do it ever since I moved in, but it is a little cray cray. And for my cleaning project, I'm wearing Arlen's shirt. I miss you so much, Arlen. I FaceTimed Arlen the other day. You guys know he's in Sydney, but yeah, let's get cleaning. <laughs> Guys, we've made tremendous progress. I like cleaned pretty much like all my room. I have some stuff going on over there because I got to start packing for Vegas, which was what my whole plan was. But yeah. I cleaned like my whole closet and I got this tiny little rug from Ikea and it's so fluffy and it looks like a little small for my closet but yeah I got my shoes all figured out I'm so happy um, my clothes I need to go through because I definitely have way too many and don't wear like probably half of them but at least we got somewhere oh my gosh and I literally have nowhere to put these <laughs> if anyone ever needs an RX bar or almond butter hit a girl up um, I like put these in these acrylic things that like fell off my wall in the bathroom I'll show you in a sec, but I tried to have them in the wall in the bathroom But they like literally didn't stay up because they just have like sticky stuff on the back But anyway, these literally won't even fit in our kitchen because our kitchen is so full of food So I just threw them up here and then I have a bunch of stuff up there. I can't even see it Oh this I have to give to my little for alpha fee um but yeah, that's what we got going on, and luckily, some of my shoes I was able to put in a closet in the hallway, right out there. Look at how cute this is going to be, like ignore all this random stuff, but yeah. And then this little shelf, bookshelf, I think I like it the way it looks now. And I was able to put some shoes over here that I thought looked cool, so yeah. This is like a sneak peek to my room tour slash apartment tour. I clean the floors because these floors get like pretty dirty pretty quick and then this don't look at my trash i have to take it out it's gross um actually i'm not even going to show you my bathroom because it's like really gross in there right now but i'm about to build these to go over my toilet so that i have storage because i had all of those shelves as you can see i think it kind of pulled the walls out a little bit and the sticky things just fell right off so i gotta put some storage up because that is not working out for me <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I was just having a dance party by myself. I was like, Wait, I also just had the best idea. Best slash worst. We need some good lighting up in here. Okay, my good idea is I realized after my trip this weekend to Vegas, I'm going to be in Boston, like home for a full month, which like never happens to me. And I was just looking through all these pictures of me in Morocco and I was getting that traveling itch again. Like I just hate sitting in one place. I just love like traveling the world and like trying new things and learning about new cultures and just, oh, it's my favorite thing. But um, I'm getting so excited to go to Vegas now. I know that's not like learning new cultures at Vegas, but like, so I'm excited. But um, what I was just thinking, can you comment down below? This would be like, horribly insane or like fantastically insane but um i was thinking for so long that i wanted to make a video saying like i did soul cycle for a week straight and this happened or like i did doubles every day for a week and this happened or something like that but since i realized that i'm gonna be home for like a whole month and not leaving i should do i want to do i did soul cycle for a month straight and this happened and like not take a day off which like might be terribly bad and i know you're supposed to rest and i do a lot of rest days nowadays i'm like oh Stayed up too late last night. I'm gonna take a rest day, but um, 
yeah, what do you guys think? I just think that would be so interesting and then we could see if like my body changes and whatever And of course it would be tough and like really challenge me, but I like being challenged I like being pushed in life. So yeah speaking of that I haven't worked out in a couple days so I'm going to work out tonight and normally I like working out in the morning see that could be another good thing too that that would teach me is like discipline it's like going to practice you know like I was so productive when I rode freshman year even though oh, thank god I can put you down there my arm is getting tired because I've been lazy and not working out but um do it all again oh. okay I'm all over the place right now but Oh yeah, I like that Rowan like kept me on a schedule and like practice and such. So that's what it would be like really good for, you know? Like I could like make myself go in the mornings and make myself like a morning person and go to bed early and whatever. So I feel like that would be so fun. Yeah, and we could see if I like get abs or big biceps or something. I don't know. And I probably would have to like cross train here and there too so that I wouldn't get injured. I'd probably have to like run and like lift weights. And it would like actually make me do that, so... What do you guys think? I think I'm just gonna do it. I think I just talked myself into it because I really like being challenged in life. So, anyway, haven't made much progress. I think the last time I saw you, I said I was gonna build this and I still haven't built it because I've been looking at pictures of me in Morocco and reminiscing. But I did clean a lot, so I'm proud of that. Still have to pack for Vegas, still have to work out, shower, self tan, you know, so. We've been moderately productive today, and it's like almost five, so I almost have to go get Lucy from her class. So yeah, do it all again, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I remember <laughs> I need to go work out, I have too much energy. <laughs> We got Lucy from class. How was class? It was good. It was cold. It was good though. I was so cold. I was like, Gretchen, turn on the heat in the car right now. I, I put on your hot seat. Did yeah. you notice? Yeah, I know. It feels really nice. I was shivering like the whole class. I don't know why. But it's a super interesting class. It's global health, uh, comparative global health systems. And we just talk about like, I don't know disease outbreaks at other places and like just like <laughs> we just talk about systems. disease outbreaks you know the usual well like we were talking about like ebola and zika and just like the like e how everything's like motivated by like power <laughs> hopefully they can again fix globalization my bracelet but yeah he's cute <laughs> i'm you always like problem, on the lookout Gretchen. for boys i'm like he wasn't hey. cute <laughs> he was he was mushy and tall okay anyway right now i'm oh, going to a jeweler oh. because i found my bracelet that's this necklace but in bracelet form that I got in Italy and I was literally so sad for so long and thinking about if I could like try yeah. to find it online like no it's from this tiny little boutique in like St. Mark's <laughs> Square in Venice like <laughs> yeah so then I'm like I guess I have to go back to go get it again and then I found it and I remember I told you I put it and I knew I put it in the little pocket of my mini Louis Vuitton backpack was it in there? no oh. I put it in the little like... pocket of that little pink backpack that I got with all the Neutrogena stuff in it and I like unpacked today and I was like, what's that? And I pulled it out and I was like, <gasps> Good. wait, I'll show you it. It's right here. I put it. Guys, look, the, the other day I went to the gas station to get a granola bar and the guy at the checkout gave me these beads. I was walking out and he was like, here, do you okay. want these? <coughs> <It's PC. coughs> yeah, so oh, happy. there it is. Yeah. But yeah, he just like, he, I was walking out after I'd paid and he's like, hey, wait, do you want these beads? And I was like, sure. Mm. <laughs> The answer is, I'm not gonna say I was no. like, Yeah, I was like, he was like holding them out to me and I was like, well, you know, it's a, t it's a statement piece. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Oh, and I started laundry too. I've had a quite productive day, I would well, say. I haven't slept packed for yet, 13 though. hours, so. I, did, I slept for 13 hours. When, Look at that baby's face. That's, that's me when I rest on you. Oh. <laughs> it's like this. Yeah, it's like, that's like, oh, that's like, that was like me was earlier. Like oh my God, Are yeah. Any well, boys that look like that, <laughs> that have dark hair, baby face, pretty tall. Hit me up. <laughs> and and you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Hit her up. Okay, so just drove home and um the lady at the at the jeweler was like, Oh, your bracelet class will take us like maybe 30, 40 minutes. You can come back and get it tonight. And I was like, sweet, because I'm going to Vegas in the morning, so like I want to be able to wear it. Because I always had it on this arm with my um little Cartier bracelet, and then my Hermes one's usually like on this arm right there but um yeah i'm so excited that i get to go get it but anyway it is now 5 50 and i was there at 5 40 and <laughs> she's like okay your bracelet's ready i'm like wait already so 
Yeah, I just got back in the car. I'm gonna go and get it. And then when I get back, I think Lucy and me are gonna do a little workout. I haven't been to the gym in our apartment building yet because I've been so stressed, like moving in and mostly going to SoulCycle. Um, but I'm gonna try it out and see what it's like. And I just really wanna walk uphill and do some abs. I'm just looking for like a chill workout today to like get back into it. And TMI, but I got my period today. My stomach hurts so bad and my back hurts so bad, like my lower back when I get my period, so. But anyway. Lucy can't really work out because of her back, but she's like, we'll do like AT stretches and exercises and stuff that helps her pain a bit. So let's go get my bracelet. Guys, look at my bracelet. I'm so happy right now. It's all fixed and I found it. I just love the way they look together. Life is restored. <laughs> Guys, I've had this candle from Target forever. As you can tell, it's like <laughs> so old, but it smells so good. Now my whole room smells like cotton candy and I wanted to show you we've made a little progress I've cleaned my sink because it was so icky before so this is like very clean right now and new for me and my retainers are still there which is gross and when I moved in this sticker was here and I think there's a yeah there's a supreme sticker there and there from the people that lived here before me which like isn't really my vibe but I also can't get them off so whatever and I got some clothes from Express which I'm so excited about um, still haven't packed for Vegas, <laughs> but, oh, <laughs> I didn't run into the wall, just you guys did, but we're still gonna go work out, even though it's like seven now, we're gonna do it, we're gonna go. <laughs> hey girl, hey. I want to show them how I'm lifting 12 pound dumbbells, I'm so proud of myself. I texted Maggie and Emma, I said if you see me tomorrow and I can't lift my arms or I look like incredibly jacked. It's because I'm lifting 12 oh, pound dumbbells oh. and they were laughing so hard. No, at the end of work. Guys, because in Soul I do five, but I was like, challenge yourself. Oh, okay, you ready? I can't really see myself in the mirror, so I look really bad for me. I'm like shaking. When? When we rode and stuff, yeah. that would be like 50 dollar. Like. They were so jacked. Wait, I want to show you the picture I sent. Oh, what's cool is we can show way more working out stuff because we have a gym in our apartment building, you know. I'm funny. <laughs> okay, I'm not that funny. <laughs> I'm so hungry. We're gonna go eat food now. Oh, and I ran intervals before this because I watched someone's video the other day about working out and they were running intervals and I haven't done interval training in so long. And I was like, maybe that would be good for me. So that's what I did. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. Okay, I'm not showing my face anymore. It is currently 2.09 a.m. <laughs> And I love that I've had all day to pack, and this is where we are. But, um, you know, I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm finally, like, completely packed. So this is my little outfit for tomorrow. I got an email from our, like, mail room that I got my Lululemon package, but I thought it was after the package room closed, so I was really sad because I wanted to wear these tomorrow. But then Kerrigan was like, look at the package I got. So she got them for me, and I'm so happy. Um, I guess they were open later today or something. So I'm so happy I get to wear these tomorrow. I just got the camo aligns, and, yeah, I'm so excited. I can run on the plane. I'm just gonna wear it, like, a black little tank top and then I'm not sure which shoes will look better so I have my vans picked out and my supergas and then I wanted this to be like a pack with me video but then it just got so late so I literally just like threw all this random stuff in here I have all my care vitamins you guys know I take I have um, some like under eye patch thingies for when your eyes are puffy I have a bunch of emergency and Pedialyte undies bras socks oh I also have like boob tape in there and yeah a bunch of sticky boobs because I know that'll be handy oh I have this like face roller that I've been using from Vanity Planet it's just really like cooling and nice and I just feel like at a music festival I'm just gonna need all of the pampering things I can get I have like face masks and stuff in here 
And then I have these boots that I just ordered and they actually came today too from Nasty Gal. So I might be able to wear those. These I actually wear Coachella. They're like Urban Outfitters. And then these are my St. Laurent sneakers that I literally got because Nat had them. Um, and they're really uncomfortable but they're really cute in pictures and mine still like aren't broken in this little netted top is from lf i guess this will just be like a sneak peek of what i'm packing because clearly it's like all packed ready i have my brand new melville jean jacket in there i have a million bathing suits you guys know what most of those look like already and i have some fun festival stuff down there that i won't show you yet because you'll see it on my instagram and other videos and then I have a bunch of bodysuits. This new shirt I wore the other night to the Grand, if you guys saw my Insta pack. Um, I'm so obsessed with it. It's from Urban. But you know, straps like this break so easily. So I'm a little worried. This sweatshirt I got a long time ago from Grey Bandit, but I still haven't taken like pictures in it and it's so comfy. So hopefully I get pics in that. My favorite new pants from Brady Melville. They're so cozy. Makeup wipes. I have like two packs of those because I know I'm gonna need them. This is Nat's bag that I have to bring back to her straightening iron, hairbrush, more bathing suits. I have a bunch of sports bras, leggings, sneakers, because hopefully, cross your fingers, I can work out while I'm there. And yeah, and then this is my little carry-on, and I guess this is like my personal item, but I usually end up throwing that in there and like taking out during the flight, whatever, whatever. And I'm so happy my closet is like clean now. You guys saw today. Transformation. I mean, it's not like perfect, but obviously a lot better. And that little rug I just think is so funny. And the Supreme sticker has to go. It's ruining my vibe. Still didn't build this. I was going to earlier and then I obviously found better things to do. So all my toiletries are like split amongst all of these. Um, but I just have a bunch of makeup, some self-tanning stuff, body wash, shampoo, conditioner, razor, q-tips, blah blah blah, the normal things. Makeup, I grabbed a bunch of fake eyelashes because my eyelashes are little babies and they're normal now. <laughs> Can we just look at all my pimple cream? I just covered my face in it because I don't want any pimples, obviously, while we're there. And then, oh you guys know I have that terrible one. Um, anyway, <laughs> I usually have um, the normal Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, but this time I grabbed the dark chocolate one and I haven't used it yet. It's so dark, but hopefully I'm really tan because, oh, also I self-tanned. Ooh, you can kind of tell my stomach. I feel like my face, you can't tell as much, but I feel like my stomach, I can always tell when it's like really tan. And I just ordered the ultra dark one. They've sent me some loving tan stuff before, but this time I just ordered it because I wanted the ultra dark one and they just sent me the dark one before if that makes sense but honestly so far i haven't really noticed like any difference maybe once i wash it off in the morning i will but like right now it literally just looks the same as the dark one so that's my opinion makeup brushes blah, blah blah sorry this has been a horrible pack with me because obviously i procrastinated and didn't get to really show you as i was packing i'm showing you after the fact but i'm sure you'll see once i'm there all the goodies i brought so yeah